Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Sudhakar, and uh, today we are going to discuss about SQL Server connectivities. Okay, so that means uh, before I want to work with my SQL Server, how to connect to SQL Server? Okay, this is very important to know before interacting with your SQL Server database. Okay, so in this session, okay, in this session we will discuss how to connect your SQL Server or SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so that we will discuss here, and I will show you the complete steps. Okay, how to connect? And in the last video session, okay, we discuss. Okay, I was given the complete information about SSMS. Okay, so the SQL Server Management Studio, the introduction part, we discuss. Okay, what exactly SSMS and what kind of the operations options will be provided. So each and every option we discuss in the last video session. Okay, so that what we discussed there. So when I am going to showing you are practically now. So what is the options are there in SSMS? Okay, once I click on SSMS icon, okay, it will be open one connected to server window, and in this window we have some options are there. So that each option we will discuss in the last video sessions. Now we will show to that videos the video what we can say in last video what we discuss that options I am going to showing now. Okay, and later how to connect your SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so these two things we will discuss in this session. Okay, so now, so now first of all, what you want to do uh, after installation was completed in your machine or system. Okay, then you know that we are getting some icon. Okay, so now that icon we called as a SSMS icon. Okay, after getting that icon. Okay, then later how I can use and how to communicate with that. Okay, so first of all, after installation, you just go to your all programs option. Okay, you just go to all programs option, and later you just come out here. Okay, to go to your search button and you are to write. Okay, you want to write here. So SQL Server. So when you see this, then we are getting some. So once you want to enter, okay, in your search button, we are getting this icon. This icon we called as a your SQL Server 2014 Management Studio. So that means in this video, okay, in this video sessions, I'm going to using my version is 2014 version. I'm going to using now, okay. So now after getting this icon, you know this icon. This icon we called as a in shortcut. I just say SSMS. So SSMS stands for SQL Server Management Studio, and on this icon you just come out and click on. So once I click on on this icon, then the window that means the SSMS window will be open. But before that, okay, before that, so you you observe here when I was click on SSMS tool, okay, I just get here one small window I'm getting now. So this window I already said to you in the last session, okay, connected to server. So once you can just uh, see this. The connected to server window was open here. Okay, so this is my connect to server window. Okay, so in this window, what I said in the last session, this window was having some options. Okay, that options what exactly it was C. So the Microsoft SQL Server 2014. This is my version, and below you just come out here. So first the option will be server type, and later we discuss server name, and later I said authentication. And later, some username and password is also there. Okay, so these are the some options which was having in my connected to server window. And I already told to you, so each and every option was having some specific reasons. Okay, how to set these options as per my requirement. Okay, so what I said here in come to server type. When come to server type here, I already said to you the server type was having your four services. Okay, so that what four services? Okay, we will see now. So I show you in the last video the four services was there. That is, we called database engine, analysis service, and later reporting services, and later integration services. Okay, so now in this you just see here. I will show you the four services. Once you want to go for server type, once you want to go for server type, you just drop the drop down list control here, and the four services will be displayed now. The four services will be display. One is database engine, analysis, reporting, and integration. So each service already we discuss. Okay. So now in this out of four services, I just uh, connect and I just uh, select your database engine. Okay. I'm going to selecting your database engine. You must and should be select. Uh, so before you want to interact, before to connect uh, your database engine, first of all you want to select your server type. Okay. To which type server are you interacting there? 
okay so now i just uh, selected your database engine so now database engine what it is okay that already i said to you okay so now that i was selected your database engine at my server type option and later come to server name so the server name is represented okay is represent in which system or in which mission we install your sql server software okay so that was represented by your server name so here i already said to you uh, when or where okay where you installed your sql server software the system name you can take as a server name okay so now here i will take my server name okay in three different variations i can use here okay as my server name so first one i can show it here so i can use my local host so i can use my first uh, server name that means i am going to connect uh, through my sql server with the server name is local host okay so local host is nothing but okay what is a local host means simple okay so local host is nothing but the server and user interface is nothing but user the both are having within the same mission okay so when my server and user both are working on same system then you can use your local host the local host will represented within the system or within the mission okay so now i am a user and my server was having here okay so that means i am a user and my server already installed in this system so both the server and user both are working on the same system here so that's why you can use your local host and i selected my server name local host first of all okay and later and later next mode is what now authentication now so authentication is nothing but i already said to you so it will be verify whether this user was having user id or password okay so user id password is there or not okay so that will be identified and verified so once you have a user id and password then you can say you are the authentication person yes or no so now in the same to same the before i want to connect it to my database engine or server okay first of all here the two authentication modes are there okay that already i informed to you in the last video okay the two things one is windows authentication and one is sql server so that i am showing now you just uh, drop a drop down list control and you just uh, check out once you see this you have the two authentications are there now okay so windows and sql server authentication but i already said uh, windows authentication is nothing but if you go through windows authentication you are the administrator so you will be play like database admin role okay but when i selected sql server authentication so i am a just user so that means i don't have a permission okay to perform some operations in my database so sql server authentication is nothing but just user windows authentication is nothing but admin so first i will discuss with administration okay i selected my admin mode and through this admin mode i will be perform my operations okay so now because once i selected windows authentication i will become a admin so once i am a admin i have a all permissions to do anything or any kind of operations i can perform in my database server on database objects okay so by this reason i selected here windows authentication mode okay now so now i selected windows authentication but i said here windows authentication mode once you selected in your authentication option in our authentication option once you selected your windows authentication mode then did you identify here the username and password the two text box controls are disabled okay so these two are disabled can you carefully observe here the username and password whatever it is there so these two things are disabled okay so now these two options are not in enable mode okay so why because the reason is simple so windows authentication i already said it is a default authentication of sql server okay at the time of installation you will be get some two modes there windows authentication mode and sql server authentication so by default when you installed your sql server management studio with the windows authentication okay with the default mode then what it is happen okay by default your authentication permissions are only for windows Yes or no? But once Windows through, if I connected, what I said, I am an admin. I am an admin means my admin user ID and password was created by your operating system. That was Windows operating system will create the admin user ID and password. So internally it will be created user ID password, and that user ID password will be verified. 
okay and later the operating system will give the permission to the user to enter yes or no. So, that is the reason what it has happened it, at this moment okay when you select a windows authentication the user no need to enter okay the manual user id and password why because that user id password already your operating system internally it will create when you connect it to your server at the time it will be create and verify and will give the permission to connect to your server yes or no so that's why i don't need to enter user id password by explicitly okay so that's why the two username and password the two text boxes are not in enable mode Yes or no? So, it was having in disable. So, I do not want it there because that responsibility was taken by operating system. Okay. So, I do not want it to enter username and password. So, later after set my all options one by one in my connected to server, okay, server type, server name and authentication, then later I just directly go to connect button. So, once I just come and click on connect button, okay, now it was connected. After it was connected to your management studio, now you can see now I entered, I entered into my management studio. Then if you see in the top of the line, okay, we have some name, the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, are you entered into management studio environment? After enter into my environment, the Microsoft SQL Server environment, then you just come out here, the immediately you see once I connected to my server, so immediately object explorer window was open here. Okay. So, once this window was open, you just uh, check out in this window, I just uh, show here. So, this is called object explorer. So, this window is automatically open when user connect server. Okay, and this window what it was having here. Okay, now we can see some options are there, but before that I just uh, minimize this one and you can see this. So, whatever the connection the server name through that means which server name through are you connected, the same the server name will be giving here. This is localhost, it was represented my server name. Okay, so you know the previously I entered my server name is localhost and later it was giving you 12.0 in my version okay the sql server 2014 version is 12.0 and later this is 2000 is called id number okay and later this is you can see now lenovo and admin okay so that means i am an administrator i am an admin mode i am using here to connect to my server okay so this is one connectivity through your local host you can connect okay but in the same to same pattern when i was go to connect one more connection here in place of local host uh, even though i can use my dot symbol also so when i was given the dot symbol you can see so same to same my server type authentication i didn't change here just i was change my server name but this time what i was taken here dot when i was taken dot here okay so the dot is also represented local host Okay. So, through dot also you just connect, uh, there is nothing problem here. Okay. Now, I am going to connect here to click on connect button. So, again it was connected to enter now. So, now we can see the two connections I show here. Okay. The two connections are there. One is local host connectivity and one more is dot connectivity. Okay. So, here carefully if you see and observe then you can easily understand my server name first of all. My server name is what now? Local host I used here but this time dot. But the version 12.0 and the ID number, the both are same and both persons. So, who is this here? Admin. So, both the, so I am admin because I through, I have entered into Windows authentication. So, Windows authentication, authentication if you selected and you just select any server name, but you will be playing as a admin role. So, now you see local host I selected, even though I am admin, if I selected dot, even though I am admin. Yes or no? So, now this is two connectivities, one is local host through and one is dot through, are you connected? And one more connectivity was there, so that connectivity what exactly we will see now. So, even though uh, when I was connect to my SQL server, okay, when I am going to connect to SQL server, even though I can use one more server name, okay, that server name you will be find like this here. So, at the first time uh, when you want to interact with your SQL server at the first time, uh, when you go to server name option, you just uh, come to here, okay, the whatever the server name option was there, okay. So, this drop down list control you just uh, drop here. Once I was drop, 
at the first time you will be get only one option here the option we called as what now browse for more. So, on this option you just come and click on that at the first time when you are go to connect it to your SQL server. So, this option should be remember ok first time should be remember. So, select your browse for more and uh, on this option I just click when I was click here then come to here the local servers and network servers are there ok. So, local servers are represented within the system. So, in my system I was installed here engine analysis reporting and integration services ok. So, network servers are uh, when you are working in real time ok. So, system to system ok. So, when you connect it to your servers ok then you can use your networks, but here local server I just connected to my uh, server within the system only. So, here the four services are there, but to which uh, service do you want to connect uh, go to that service now. Now, I am going to the service here ok. If you see this ok I just go to database engine ok. So, now I just open this database engine you, you observe here the one plus symbol was there the symbol you just uh, expand now. Once I want to expand here then I will get now one name here by default it was having some name after installation that name is called as a Lenovo. So, actually this name is simple I can say it is my system name ok. So, it is my system name ok I will show you my system name also select my computer and click right mouse button and click on here properties ok click on properties. So, now here observe. So, when I started my computer name Lenovo was there here this computer name is called a system name. So, this system name also I can use as server name when I want to connect it to my server. So, once I will go to here now see here the system name Lenovo and that I am going to using whenever I was connected to my SQL server. Now, you just open again. So, SQL server I just open now and now I am going to connect now. So, in place of this I said here click on browse for more and go to your database engine and select your Lenovo. So, after selected Lenovo whatever it is there in database engine I just click on ok. So, that server name was taken here. So, this server name ok I can say I can also call it is a system name the system name also you can take as a server name when you want to connect it to SQL server. And later after connected again you just connected here then you can see again your object explorer window was open and uh, see this your server this time my server is Lenovo ok my server name is Lenovo and 12.0 version ID and this is administrator ok. So, this is what it is here the connectivity is how to connect to your SQL server with three different uh, server names I used one is dot one is localhost and one is system name ok. So, now you are observed. So, I will show you the three connectivities dot I connected now and uh, later one more connectivity is what now local host. So, local host I just come and click on connect and now you can see this the three connectivities I show you now. So, one is first one I can say this is system name second one dot and third one local host ok. So, the three connectivities you can use ok when you want to go to connect your SQL server, but this was happen this was happen only within the system only ok. But if you want to for example, your server was having in another system and user is working on another system at the time this local host will not uh, support ok. So, it will be supported the local host and dot will be supported only within the system when your server and user was working then only you can use it otherwise do not use ok. So, this is what it is here how to connect my SQL server ok how to connect my SQL server through windows authentication I just show it, but in the same pattern even though I will go for to connect my SQL server through SQL server authentication also I can connect, but the what is the differences and what is the variation did you find out here. So, now same to same when I was go to next connectivity this time what I am using I am using same my first time going to select my Lenovo system name, but when you come to here when you come to here authentication the second authentication mode was there that is called SQL server authentication. So, this SQL server authentication I just uh, selected here. So, did you find out here once I selected my SQL server authentication then login and password the two text boxes are activated now ok. So, here that means once you select SQL server authentication you must and should be enter user ID and password 
okay. But this user ID password who will create it means at the time of installation, at the time of SQL server installation, you just create your administrator password, okay, when you want to connect it to SQL server authentication, okay. So, there I was created at the time of installation and especially I am saying that while you are going to install your SQL server software, okay, there are one option will be there like a mixed mode option will be there. So, once you selected mixed mode, then immediately it was asking enter password and enter confirm password, okay. So, whatever you enter there, okay, the password and confirmation of password. So, through that password, you just connect it to your server, okay, when you want to connect uh, SQL server authentication, okay. So, now I selected SQL server authentication, but login already some name was there SEA. SEA is nothing but system administrator, okay. This is, this is also admin. Okay, system administrator we called. So, SEA is a default username of SQL server. Okay, so it is a default username of SQL server we called here. So, that was there here and later I was go to enter my password. So, at the time of installation, I was given some password here. My password is 123 password I was given that. So, that password I am using along with my SEA username and later I just connected now. So, after connected here, okay, then you can see the username. So, what and which username was there here? That means, through which username are you connected there? That username will be specified now. Yes, yeah. Okay. So, later on and the remaining things you can see, the remaining things same to same. So, my server name is Lenovo SQL Server 12.0 and 2000 is ID and SEA. Yeah because my username this time SVA. Yes, yeah. okay. So, now in the same to same remaining connectivity is also you can go to check. So, next one is what now? Local host and same SQL server authentication mode and I will enter my password. Okay, I just go to connect now. So, once I connected here, okay, so again it was connected, but this time my connectivity has happened local host. In the same to same one more connectivity you can use now. So, that will be called as a dot. So, dot also I can use it now and now I selected SQL server authentication and now login SA and password is also 123 the same password I followed here. So, later I just uh, click on connect button and it is also connected and now we can see this ok. So, the windows authentication connectivity and SQL server authentication connectivity the two connectivities with the three different server names I show you here. So, through any of this ok either Lenovo dot localhost with windows otherwise Lenovo localhost dot with the uh, SQL server authentication, but here both authentication people are administrator only ok. Because I was used here my administrator name is what now system admin is called SA. So, both are nothing difference both are same to same connectivities ok I used here. So, if you have to find out that both are same or not both are administrator or not means you just open this ok. So, through windows authentication any one connectivity. So, before that what I am doing here some connectivities I just remove here ok I just removed here the two connectivities I used now. So, one is windows the first one is windows second one is SA. Okay, the two authentications I taken here, first one is administrator and second one is SQL server authentication. So, windows authentication this one and this is SQL server authentication, but here both are administrator remember. Why? Because I was connected okay through my uh, through SQL server authentication with the user credentials of okay admin user ID and admin password okay. So, that is why both are showing here administrators and now later I just open this okay first of, first of all the windows authentication if I open then you can see to open your databases and uh, whatever the information was there here you just open like this okay and same to same when I want to go for SQL server authentication I just open here. Okay. So, here also same to same options and same to same to same information was there here. Okay. So, if you see the both both are same the nothing difference here. Okay. So, both have a administrators and both have a permissions both have a permissions to perform all database operations okay, in our SQL server environment. Okay. So, this is I am saying here how to connect to SQL server with windows authentication and also SQL server authentication with the administrator role. Okay, but if a user role, if I want to show you, okay, then you can understand what is the difference. So, that session we will discuss in the next video session, okay, how and user and uh, admin differences, what it is here, I will show it. Okay, so this is complete admin user ID, admin password through I connected, okay, I am using two authentications windows through admin, SQL server authentication through admin only, yes or no. But 
admin user the two different connections I will show you in the later session okay in the next session we will discuss the differences between admin and user connectivities okay so I hope that you can understand and you will be happy for this video and thank you thank you so much